Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you the console update for 1.3 Terraria. Now a lot of people are asking about this, even though I've done a video on it like a while back. I did a pretty informative video, but the only problem was the mic quality was really, really bad. So now it's a bit better quality, we're going to jump straight into it and tell you the news about Terraria today. Currently, console does not have 1.3 Terraria. The only consoles that are getting it are Xbox One and PS4. Mobile will get it as well, but I will explain that a little bit later. Start off with Xbox and PS4. They're the only additions that will be getting 1.3, and any updates from there will be on the next-gen consoles, of course. You'll also probably get it on Androids and stuff, iOS and tablets, you know, any sort of tablets. I'll leave all this information in the description anyway. So let's start off with old gen. Now, old gen has been around for a while. I mean, the consoles are so old, probably about 12 years old now, and that is very old, which means the actual hardware has capabilities. What am I want to improve they might want the new consoles and you know they're, they're better hardware they can run better engines it's sort of the direction what terraria wants to go in with old gen like i was saying the update is already out a lot of people got confused about this the update is already out people thought that this was a 1.3 update that was going to come out last year in september but it was not this is where everyone was getting it totally wrong i even explained it like i said in my last video quite well but a lot of people didn't really watch it because of the mic quality or maybe just because they didn't really see the video now happy days is cover as well no further updates will come into the old gen consoles which is xbox 360 and ps3 there's no updates i don't think coming to wii u or nintendo ds either so i don't think they're getting 1.3 as of yet as of we know they have actually posted that somewhere that they most likely won't get them they've already rolled out the update that fixed 100 bugs old gen consoles again no more updates it won't be getting 1.3 it won't be getting any patches so any glitches that work will most likely still work in the future now this update like i said was released in september 2016 it was a month after i come off holiday and it got an update patch a lot of people was wondering what it was and it was the 100 bug fixes they go on in this post to explain a bit why they're no longer providing updates for old gen and this is because like i say the console's old now there's not much more they can get out the capabilities of the actual console with the hardware i mean ps3 it did actually have quite good hardware but it's still probably because it's a 12 year old console it wouldn't be optimized to run this. They probably could have got it running on it, but it would have been like really laggy. It probably wouldn't have really played well. And I think what they want to do, they want to create a really smooth game that's just going to be well played and without any sort of incapabilities and without having to leave any items out. So I would imagine they would have to leave some items out because it's just so old. And they do actually go on to say that they have actually had a few approaches to make 1.3 work, but none of them would really work and they wouldn't really be acceptable because I would imagine that this means that they have to remove a lot of things. It takes so much resources, not just hardware resources though. It would probably take them a lot of time to program the game for these older consoles to actually be optimized. They then go on to say they've partnered with Pipework Studios to continue their journey, you know, optimizing the game for mobile. Goes on to talk about the console reset, which the console reset is basically just, it's gonna be the UI, what you actually see. It's all gonna be, re be re refreshed. So where your inventory is, um, how things work, the actual mechanics of the game, things like that. That's what it means by a reset. But they go on to say they're going to share more of that later on in the future. So finally, we are on the big boy thing now. 1.3 on current gen consoles. This is going to be a massive update for consoles. It's really going to be fun. We get the Celestial Invasion event, Moon Lord. There's Expert Mode, which is going to be really fun. It's obviously got its unique loot. All the developer's armor, which is actually vanity. It might not work the same way, but it still looks really cool. There's over 800 items, which brings the total count to over 3,000. 500 items that is a massive improvement there's also player quality of life upgrades it's basically more balanced out so i'll leave some comparisons on the screen now of what we can expect when it does come out as you can see the ui has changed to completely what we see is changed where the map is and i don't know how it will actually play though because i don't like the controls on pc right now they upgrade it and use the controls from console it should be really good i mean it's looking good so far it looks quite optimized quality looks great so it's got this massive bold lettering and underlying lettering of when the 1.3 update is coming out i don't know how people miss this it's on the terraria.org slash news it's official news it says our current target Reset plus 1.3 is Q2 2017. A lot of people get confused with Q2. So January to March is the first quarter of the year. April to June would be the second quarter of the year and so on. We're expected to get it anywhere between April and June. My bet would probably be May. 
maybe around the 15th of May. That's what I'm going to say around, but we don't know. It could be whenever, it could be May, it could be June, it could be April. We don't know. Maybe they're going to play an April Fool's on us on the 1st of April and introduce like a bogus update. It'd be really funny if they did that, by the way. Yeah, this also means if you are upgrading to a new console, you will have to purchase the game again because it will not be backwards compatible. This will also mean PS3, PS4, and PS Vita, I believe they won't be able to play with each other because we're getting 1.3 on PS4. So obviously the PS Vita and the PS3 won't be able to connect to it anymore. I mean, it's a bit sad, but it is what it is. So there we go, guys. That is all the information we know as of yet for the 1.3 console update. Hopefully this has been informative. I will leave all the links in the description. I've also done another video on this, like I say. The information isn't getting out there. A lot of people keep asking me. I get comments upon comments upon comments daily in my streams. So hopefully this clears up for you guys. And I'll see you next time. Please do not subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.